Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the powerhouse and I'm back. We're back. It's your boy King Jace representing, well, why? Unfortunately, we will not be doing the usual powerhouse this year. It will be a little different where we incorporate, a, well, different artists, different genres of music, a little reggae, a little dancehall, maybe a little hip hop in between, who knows? But yeah. This year, it'll be called the Powerhouse Quarantine and Chill Edition. Yeah, and you know, we can't have the Powerhouse without having the Power DJ. New, fresh face. Let me introduce to you DJ Tiger in the building. Hey, 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 hey. It's VC Tiger for your VC Tiger? Yeah. What? Yes. Well, Tiger, first question I have to ask you how do you feel about this whole, you know, this whole Corona, COVID 19? Carnival and know a lot of people, a lot. Everybody in SVG like no carnival this year. No carnival. So, no. but but we what we what what the, what the prime minister said that in August we have a holiday, right? Two? Yes, two days. So we could put a chuck on the road. I was wondering the same thing. I was hoping the same thing. You was actually. hoping? Yes, I was. So why we can't now, do it? You know, for a lot of persons, this COVID nineteen has cut down breadfruit trees. That's the it. Especially for the artists, them. Now, usually artists will put out songs and hope to get bookings to make what money. And now you see what happened. No stage shows, a bunch of you know Instagram lives, Facebook lives, and we're not reaping any benefits from that. So I don't know. I really don't. I mean, it's not it's not just the the, the artists them alone. You know, it's also the DJs. Of course. Not talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, also the, the, the seasonal DJs who actually look forward to carnival where they get a lot of bookings. You know yourself, DJs. I think we, after after this whole COVID-19 thing, Jace, we need to come together mm -hmm. and push each other. Definitely. We you need know, to push each other. Well, as it says, our faith will see us through, and I believe that we'll get through this, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned to the Powerhouse. Thomas Wholesale and Liquor Plus offers the finest selection of local and imported products at competitive prices, along with excellent customer service. They carry an updated stock of the latest wholesale products on the market and reacquainting with old favorites. A large selection of wines, brandies, spirits, beer, plus more. Shelves of quality brands of canned products, cases of soft drinks to large detergents, plus more. Choose from a large variety of local seasoning, sacks of onion, flour, garlic, plus more. All at low prices. For the best and quality brands, general merchandises and liquor. Go to Farmers Wholesale and the Liquor Plus and Arnold Sale or call 456-6840 for everything you want plus more. Get away from all the traffic and noise in the city. Take a scenic drive to Gray's Marketplace in Pembroke where a pleasant, relaxing, stress-free shopping experience awaits you. Shop in clean, spacious surroundings where parking is no problem. Come on down. Our friendly staff is waiting to serve you. And you will always say by shopping right here. Oh yes, we're number one. CK Gray's and Company and we are Vincent Shines. A supermarket for you and me. Shop at Gibson's. Always got the best quality. Affordable prices for you and me. Where else will you get free delivery? We've got lumber, paint, and pearless steel. Come on down to Gibson's. Get your money's worth. Gibson's building supplies. A family store. Gibson's. What are you waiting for? Gibson's building supplies. The one stop shop for. You and I Gibson's Bill and Supplies The one-stop shop for you and I Call us today at 4561725 Or visit us at Lower Bay Street or Victoria Park Road Jams Car Rental has a fleet of vehicles covering all transportation options you need to discover or rediscover SVG. Whether you want to head to the countryside, enjoy a special weekend, or take a trip to one of our national sites, we have just the right vehicle for you. Jams Car Rental, located in Edinburgh. Call us at 485-6620 or 529-6393.
and welcome back to the powerhouse right here on SVG TV. Of course, my name is King Chase, and I'm here sitting down with a legend. Let me tell you, the short says it itself. The short says it. A yeah. legend. A veteran. Tell ya. And I think this veteran has the energy to tussle with any of the younger guns as they say. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here sitting with the road match king, Luta. Luta, welcome to the power. Blessings, my brother. Blessings. Yeah, man. No. Yeah, live and in living. In living. What, black and white. Black and, and white. white, yeah. Yeah, black and white. <laughs> yes, sir. So, Luta, for the people, I mean, you're a host. So, what name, yes? Yeah, but there might be so. a lot of people who still don't know who Luta is. Who is Luta? Maybe, maybe, maybe not, but maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yes. For people that don't know, the crowd motivator. Where did that slogan come from? Like, for real, I, I've always wondered it for myself. Yeah, um, I, the, the, I think it, it was Bing on the radio who really labeled me that oh, way. Right. The first person I've actually heard me called calling me that name is um, Colin Graham, though. Right. Yeah, Colin Graham did, that's the first person I heard. But I gotta understand that Bing is the person who actually ah. labeled me that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, based on my energy and everything on stage now, because you know when I touch stage is a different kind of motivation. Of course. Wake up the dead. Of course. Of yeah, course, man. If you're dead, I'm gonna wake you up, bring you back to life. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. And uh, as the crowd motivator, I think you have motivated artists as well. Yeah, man. There have, there have been so. artists that I know for a fact have been fashioning yeah. their career after you. Yeah. I mean, you came to Signal. Yes, that's what that was the, gen, yeah, the genesis. The yeah. genesis, you see? Yeah, and uh, do you think that that is something that is lacking from today's carnival or music today in St. Vincent? Big time, big time. It, you're taking live music out of a carnival. It's like remo removing the soul of the music because everything that is created in a studio it came from instruments, like instruments that they replicate to put in song. And the, 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 the dream and the beauty about music is to having humans go on stage live in front of audience and recreate that music. You, you just can't beat it. You right. can't get away from it. Because what, 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 what a DJ will play or what anybody will play on a record or recording is what you will hear on the radio. You can stay home and you can listen to that. That's true. You know, but when a band recreating live on stage, you have the you have everything that you need to 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 be creative, to walk around. So what you hear on the recording may not be what you're hearing on stage and live. Because sometimes you a bass line may be pung in a certain way in a song. But when a bass man playing that live, he may start to improvise and put different things that make it even sweeter. Now. Sweeter and you know, and people can more relate to that in a live setting. So we definitely the band music is missing. I agree with you. Yep. Also, let's talk about 2019. Oh god. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Road match. Yeah. I <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Last year? Everywhere I go, all I hear is you had a Lego thing. 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 Yes. You had a Lego thing. Now, what went into creating Lego thing? Lego thing was like a song that it, it just had to be. Because what happened is that initially I, I went into the studio to do a collaboration with Wiseman, who was another legend from right. um, Exodus Band. The yes. Do Ben Dong song. Do Ben Dong, Do Ben Dong. So I went into the studio and, you know, I did my vocals and. When we, when we finish now, I tell the producer, say, yo, I have an idea for a song named Lego Thing. Now, Lego Thing, the idea came from a group in Calico they call A Team. Yeah, man, Shanai and, and Angie and those girls. So, every time this year, like, loot a Lego, Lego something, now Lego Thing, you know, if you pass by, hey, Lego Thing. Mm -hmm. I say, boy, I'm going to do this song in honor of these people because you know, Calico is my home, you know, that's my people. Right. So I tell you, um, the producer say I have an idea of a song called Lego Thing. He say, yeah, he say, let me hear it. And this is the thing, Lego Thing, Lego Thing, Lego Thing, yeah. Lego Thing, that was it. Right. Right? So he say, yeah, boy, that good. He say, all right, go in the boat and put down the um, idea. So he went in and I put down the idea. And I leave it to the, ah, you hear the thing? <laughs> yeah, man. So it was, it's something like, Lego Thing, yeah, Lego Thing. Lego thing, that was the original idea. Right. Hi. So I put down the, the, the thing now, the scratch and I leave it there. And then two weeks now, 
I need from the producer. I say this is strange because this is a man once we walk in or doing anything. One, two, three. Luther, I don't do this. I don't do that. So I ain't hear nothing. So I call him man. Mm-hmm. The man in answer me say, it's strange. Why are you disrespecting the legend? Exactly. Yeah, I send him a message. I ain't gonna respond. I say, what's that boy? Anyway, I catch him close to Calico a Sunday. <laughs> and I say, yo, I ain't calling the name. I say, yo, what's going on with the song? I leave a demo by you, what's going on with it? So go and do it, I was busy, I have plenty of work and we, we, we. I say, alright, I will zoom in on it, I will, I will let you know. Anyhow, another week, I didn't hear from the man at all. By the next week, you know, our bridging was by me and thing, and I'm dropping him back in Diamond. And when we head into Diamond, he said, boy, I'll collect some money and call her. Drop me call her, let me collect this money. I say, alright, no problem, so you drive in call her. Pick up the money, or we coming back now to jump in Diamond. I hear this rhythm playing on the radio. Oh. I said, what? I said, but this rhythm bad. So he listened to the rhythm now, boy. He said, and he said, Lego thing, Lego thing, Lego. I said, what? Mm-hmm. Because it moved now from Lego thing, yeah, Lego thing. Right. Yeah, Lego thing, but the rhythm is bouncing so much. He mm-hmm. said, hey, Lego thing, Lego thing, Lego thing. I said, what? All right, OK. So I had that in my head now going, eh? Because my brethren, they thought, remember, you know? Something when we music and when we vibing and things like that, and creating internally. It's, it doesn't have anything to do with anybody around you. Right. So we could be lining all the way in the room and I creating something, I see something that appeal to me. Right. And I creating a vibe and a song of that. And none of you even know that I don't leave this room mentally and spiritually. Right. And I, I go on somewhere else right. because the creative juices start flowing right now. So you might be saying something to me, Luther, and realize that I study and say, wait, Luther, deaf, but there's not really a deaf one. I just not here. Right. I hear physically, but Mentally and spiritually, now nah, I gone into that zone where I write in. So, anyhow, I tell me head that thing in and I jump on my bridge and I say, Yeah, man, later we'll link up. And when I leave, you know, I pull aside by the road and I take on my phone and I go into my voice record and say, Level thing, level thing, level thing, level thing, level thing, level thing. But, alright, good, that is all I want. So, I put that down now and I hear, when I listen to the radio, I hear when I'm link up and that daddy goes. Yeah, man, them guys live in Canada. Yeah. So, I hit up daddy goes and thing. I say, yo, I hear you on a rhythm, who do that rhythm? I ain't gonna respond the same time, the response. I hit up link up, I ain't gonna respond the same time, let me see. By the time I reach home now, link up, link me. He say, hey, Luther, how I go on? I say, good. I say, who did that rhythm? He didn't even tell me who. He say, you want it? I say, yes. He say, all right, I send it right now. <laughs> if I send you, so, all the time, because I did a couple of songs, um, rhythms that we jump on with um, link up and daddy goes, and they all work with producers out of Canada. So, I was of the impression That's that it was yeah. one of the Canadian producers who did the reading. So, all when I go in the studio, I say who do it, eventually I hear Stuart. Up to now, me, you know Stuart, who walk in with Mark. I ain't know somebody local, I just say Stuart, I say alright. So I go by basic, I say I have the idea. I have an idea. I want to send him the reading, I'm going to studio now, voice and things. So I'm going, hey team, watch how the girl is fresh and clean, but it team is really, Paying homage and bigging up the team in Kelly, where we get the idea from. Right? So I'm going down now and when I go down into Lego thing, Lego thing, and we don't go to the chorus now and I reach to the verse now. Get Lego back shop, eh, Lego less and lap, Lego 630, Lego sting and. When we don't do that now, basic, press stop. Stop the music so I buy the mic and wait in it. I wait in on the other part of the film to tell me whether we're going back up that thing or we just do it back up yeah. or if we're going to go on to the other part or what's that. Okay. It turned to me and said, Luther, you expect this song to play on the radio? I said, you hear this song to play on the radio? I said, what do you mean? I hear them Jamaica singing some of the kind of bad words and lick off people's head and all kind of things, so why we can't do our thing? Exactly. Ask him why. He said, back shot and lizard lap, he kind of cut in the toes and say, I know. Mm-hmm. But these are dance moves we're talking about. Exactly. You start thinking sexually now. You understand me? Like, you see a girl, uh, a nice piece of thing, and you start thinking what is beneath that. Uh-huh. Just, just admire the, the beauty now, and the shape now. You okay. understand me? Don't go too deep. <laughs> so, I say, boy, I think you go walk. Because that is what people want. That is what happening right now. Because there's a man too, and I came from an era where... We have to be real subtle with everything. And then coming out of that era to this era now, where everybody's exposed to everything. Yep. You have Blue Movie on the TV, you have HBO and them showing you all kind of thing. You understand me, all kind of sexual content and everything like that. So people now, they, they, they are more open to a lot of things. So what I could have, um, what I could have do long time, I don't know. Correct. And I am existing in that era where 
these things are happening and I myself had to take myself from out of the era I came from and put myself in this era. Hence the reason why I am here 26 years this year. Correct. You understand me? Because I keep changing and I keep evolving and I keep watching at, at, you know what the youths and the responding to be. Because a couple of things, you know, that's really shocked me. I one time my daughter when she turned 16. We have a birthday party for her. And I did checking out, I think DJQ or one of them or, or um or uh, CJ was DJ now, whosoever. And I did, she and all she friends, them, they're having a good time. And then all of a sudden, I see the whole place go crazy and they start to scream. And a song start to play. All of his arm um, split in the middle. But me never heard the song. Me say, how the song is so big? Me never heard the song. Me say, Jesus Christ. And the other people went crazy. I had another experience again the other day. I went to when they had soccer down um, arm, but the play feeling and it's very long, they so. The soccer done and they, they, they had the after party down to the back. So I go and they the after party and they chill in, checking out the music and thing, everything going down. Then I see the place go on a big uproar again. I say, what the hell I really see they, they bring on another song. What the song from um, Trinidad the other day? Gunman and G.O. Uh-huh. You say, what well, the is your lord you're going on in this place? So mm-hmm. you, you could see what's going on. You could yes. see what the people are really gravitating to. Mm-hmm. Although we can't go so deep in it, right. but you have to be on the borderline. Because if tomato sell, they will go tongue with sweet pepper. They never go buy it. That's I'm right. Yeah, yeah, tomato. That's so they will see the entertainers and take me to, you know, lead the way and guide the people. But sometimes, you know, it's what is happening culturally. is the norm. How the people are reacting to certain things. So, hence the reason why, you know, yeah, man, yeah, you have to evolve with the thing. Now, talking about letting good things. Yes. Uh-huh. Apart from having the most played song on the road last year and on the radio, <laughs> you have the most played ad on the radio right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hence the reason why, you know. 2020, I am the reigning road march king, and 2020, the ad, the ad, ad win the road march. Exactly. Right, so. Yeah. So, this year, unfortunately, yeah. we yeah. had to let go Carnival. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I know that it's breaking a lot of people's heart in COVID. Mine, Mine and probably yours oh, as well. Oh, yeah. More than yeah, it has been broken already. Yes, has see? been broken. No. Having no carnival, what is the state what is the state of your mind at this very moment? You ever you ever see a sailboat try to sail without wind? It it is, anyway. We go wait wind, we go no way. I feel like that on a king. It is not what has happened is that if you run in a supermarket, right? They're gonna tell you you're gonna open a supermarket, but you practice social distancing. Right? So you can't allow sort of amount of people inside and people have a line up outside. We see it all around. So you're still doing something? Yes. You're still making a little money. Right. You're running a minibus, they say, boy, you can't cry 18 passengers. You can't cry 9 passengers. You sort out yourself. You're still on the road, you're still doing the thing. Yo, we locked down to zero. Yes. Literally not. There's no fete, there's no club, no band play nowhere, no party, no show, no tours. Every single overseas tours I had, tour I had. Cancel. Cancel. Every single, the last one. Easter ball cancel. Um, Regatta cancel. In Beckway. Carnival cancel. It's just every single thing cancel. Everything. You know? And they put me, they put me in a zone whereby. I am still writing, I am still doing demos, it's not until Wednesday, yes sir, so. Thursday, I went into the studio and actually did a final vocal for a song, wow. this year, the first one, I have songs written, I have songs that have done demo, but in terms of completing, yeah, you know, the, the um, recording vocals, Thursday is the first time and my, my, my only one because it's like, people say, well, Music is not just about carnival and you know you are in music to go overseas and all kind of thing but what they don't know is that regardless to what soca music surrounds carnival you just can't get away from it if we do music outside of our carnival you're targeting Barbados carnival you're targeting Grenada, Trinidad carnival, Lima, there's nothing here you name it regardless of what is carnival regardless to what is a carnival music it's a carnival vibe it's a party vibe so it, 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 it puts puts me in a position whereby I this year I even think I'm gonna release any carnival songs this year. Wow. But I am recording. I am recording. I have songs because I've always been doing that. Because if you notice, you know, Bob Marley after he died, he made more music than money than when he was alive. Yes. And to 
he released a lot of music when he died when he was alive you know um tupac you can name them michael jackson they're yes. making more money now mm -hmm. so i am watching that my strategy is like every year i record like it's a seven eight nine ten songs i may only release like five right. those other songs i put them in a car I, I put them on reserve day mm -hmm. only hold on because you never know, never know. i might put in my will that yo I have 30 songs there recorded, completed, it was never released. When they say I die, every year I wanted to release one of these songs because you never know. By that time, radio stations might start paying royalties, we start making a lot of money. Some that my children, my offspring can be eating a food all when I die and living off of my legacy. You know, and I want a lot of artists to start thinking about that. You know, record songs, keep writing, keep recording, and park things aside. Because sometimes I do some songs and I say, boy, hey. Right, the market saturated, there are two, three Luther songs playing out, they go, it's bubbling up real nice, you want to create too much controversy as to somebody say, but we prefer I want this one and this one, this one could make a road match, but this one and confuse the whole thing. Yes. So let me hold back some songs for next year. Yes. But next year come now, and you're a writer, you keep writing more songs. Yes. So you never release the, these songs next year, they park aside. They park aside. You understand me? So keep walking, keep recording, keep writing. So this year is a year for me to write and record and just archive. I never, never can tell what's gonna happen, and I am not, I am not discouraging anybody from releasing music. Right. You know, you should, especially young artists, because there's the cry every year that oh God, we can't get a little space, we can't get a little play because you know, you time skinny and problem and Janelle Mackenzie and Fire Empress and Ray 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 and Hands and those worlds, you know, getting all the play. This is your year now to record and put music out because the radio stations and the DJs they're still looking for music and the world is still looking for music. Yes, so take the opportunity that you have a little space now and put something to the people. Right. Yes. For an artist who's coming off of let me say a hot year. Yeah. Or a hot couple of years. Do you think that this year has broken their momentum? Um only only in the sense that you're not in your fans face like that yes that just just that because i did a live with djq he do something every saturday yes. and he was behind me the initial the first one he did was supposed to be me and fireman mm -hmm. and he was behind me since because i didn't want to do the live really you know because i am a man i am not i am not the greatest singer i don't consider myself as a singer what i am i'm an entertainer so whatever you hear I do on recording, I will come and bring it live and create that vibe that people always, my name is always had to be in the mix. Luther name always had to be in the mix. If it's a recordings alone, I may not be here today, but put me on stage. Because I've went through eras where I've had my music banned and this ain't playing the music and DJ playing Luther and then I, all kind of thing. All, I went through, trust me, you don't want to hear my history in music. And there, 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 there hardly any other artists around who can give you that kind of history with the struggles I went through King in music. But the reason why I'm still here because I am a I am an image. I am live. Put me live and then all the band and all the thing you want to instill on Luther. I blow all of that out of the water because when people get to see me, they say, hey boy. The man mad and thinking about this still or something. Well, I could have a girl a little bit. So, yes, me a thing. Me a thing. So, once I go live, yeah, man. So, that's what keep me, you know, keep me in the mix all the time. And that's what a lot of people need to need to learn to do because a lot of artists you hear the recordings and then you go live and they want to see them live. They prefer to listen to the CD. I ain't different. You might hear a CD and say, oh, you just can't lose. I can't sing it. But come in a stage. So, come live now. They back and out. Back and all. I could freestyle, I could perform, I could whine, I could... Oh, God, I miss you. I mean. And don't forget, the one foot always roll up. Hey! I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes. Because when I small, I had to get, I get so foot, so I don't roll up. It passes to A, super A. That's what I'm going to say. Because I expose the so foot all that. Oh. Yes. Now, in keeping with the, um, the corona, before we, we wrap up, what do you think of the virtual soccer monarch initiative? Um, it is a good initiative, right? The the only problem I have with it really is that artists should have been given more time to record uh, because I will tell you what happens with a soccer monarch. A soccer monarch is supposed to be something high.
generates a lot of energy and a lot of support from your fans. So, people need to hear your music. Your music needs to be on the radio, playing so that I could, people could get familiar and start liking it. I say, boy, I like Jay Summer. And I like this one so on. Yeah, but Casper G doing it again. Magical, to, you understand me? And then people go now to, to subscribe and listen to it. And because there's a category that 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 is a replacement for crowd response. Right. Which is, you know, show your emoji, your fire emoji and stuff like that. So artists, while you're on stage, you could ask your, your, your fans, your fan base, to give me some fire emoji or, you know, whatsoever. Yes. And the judges looking at that now to see who get the most. Right. And then they get points for that. In the absence of people knowing a song, that can hamper you. Yes. So the, 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 the ones that will come out on top in that category will be the ones that have a bigger social media following. Because yes. they just do it because, boy Jace, mm -hmm. we just have a big following, so people just go, oh, my fans and them going on, and light it up, light it up, light it up. And not so much that the song, the song so bad and we yes. love this song. Yes. So that's the only thing I, 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 I you know, I have a little, iffy about okay. but outside of that i think it's something brilliant because we are all locked down you know we are in our homes we can't go to party we can't do this so people people you know there's a way to bring the entertainment to your home right. and still give you somewhat a virtual so come on right. well Luther, thank you for joining us on the power house oh yeah hey. enough 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 love coming from billy with a bass ass you know? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, bass sauce, yeah. Have your hands on it. When the man come here, the man singing bass sauce, and the missus in Billy, bass sauce, yeah, man, it's just that. Yeah, and the man say, Luther, why you take it and do a song and do it, But the, the song is a bad, bad song, but what happened last year? It's that Lego thing, drum load, everything. Yeah, exactly. And I just can't handle them with that. They just pull up a Lego thing and the Lego bass sauce. Go Lego nothing. Go. It's my part, too. You might want to be telling people the Lego things with the Lego. See how I with the Lego bass sauce and the pull on to this. Yeah, yeah, but bass sauce is a bad song. Yes, it yeah. is. It's yes, a bad song. So, Luther, yes. again, well, you're reigning road match again. This 2020. Year. 2020. I beat all of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> I inspire. I beat all of them again this year. 2020. Reigning. Reigning. Yeah, man. Yes. So, yes, thanks again for joining us on the pause. It's a pleasure. Yeah, man. God bless you. Always. All the best. Yeah, well, we know Christmas music coming. So oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Because I couldn't do carnival. You know, because this we are social distance. I try it, don't I? Uh -huh. I try going to look up and try wine and all the social distance anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but she all over there, so the six feet and they don't come close. Oh, no, no, social distance. So we'll catch it now, Christmas time, we'll catch it. Of course. Yeah, man, in the parang. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Luther right here live and direct on the powerhouse. Stay tuned, we have more. Get away from all the traffic and noise of the city. Take a scenic drive to Gray's Marketplace in Pembroke, where a pleasant, relaxing, stress-free shopping experience awaits you. Shop in clean, spacious surroundings where parking is no problem. Come on down. Our friend the staff is waiting to serve you. And you will always say by shopping right here. Oh, yes, we're number one. CK Gray's and Company, and we are Vincent Shines, a supermarket for you and me. At CashWiz, we buy, sell, trade, and co-sign almost anything of value. TVs, stereos, speakers, car audio, and other electronics. Even jewelry, gold, silver, diamonds, comes pearl. At CashWiz, ask about our buyback option on household appliances, electronics, vehicles, jewelry, sporting equipment, tools, etc. And now, if you have any large bulky items, CashWiz will visit the location and make our best offer. Just send us your detailed information via Facebook. Facebook, WhatsApp, or email, providing pictures and model numbers. So come on down to CashWiz, where we buy, sell, trade, and co-sign almost anything of value. Shop at Gibson's. Always got the best quality, affordable prices for you and me. Where else will you get free delivery? We've got lumber, paint, and perilous steel. Come on down to Gibson's. Get your money's worth Gibson's Fill and Supplies A family store Gibson's What are you waiting for? Gibson's Fill and Supplies The one-stop shop for you and I Gibson's Fill and Supplies The one-stop shop for you and I Call us today at 4561725 Or visit us at Lower Bay Street or Victoria Park Road 
Jams Car Rental has a fleet of vehicles covering all transportation options you need to discover or rediscover SVG. Whether you want to head to the countryside, enjoy a special weekend, or take a trip to one of our national sites, we have just the right vehicle for you. Jams Car Rental, located in Edinburgh. Call us at 485-6620 or 529-6393. At CashWiz St. Vincent, we buy, sell, and trade most anything of value. We're talking cash for goods the same day. We've got the highest payouts for jewelry, gold, silver, and diamond. At CashWiz, bring your used items, get cash instantly. Must be in good working condition. Get cash the same day for your goods. Come on down to CashWiz, located on the corner of Shop Street and Long Lane, Kingsdale. Call us today at 451-7777 or log on to www.cashwiz.com. At CashWiz, we buy, sell, and trade. Most anything of value. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back. Another king in our presence. We have two time Raga Soka Monarch King right here in SVG. The man who represented us well in Trinidad this year. Hans John. Hans, welcome to the powerhouse again. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> powerhouse. Enough love and respect, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's just a great pleasure to be here this afternoon. Luther was all here in the house, so big up to Luther. My big brother from long time. Island Network, everybody, the whole mess for Evie Sham, Riley, Carrier, Kenyan. Love to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's a pleasure. Shout to Billy. Billy! Oh, yeah, I'm the half friend. Base sauce, base sauce. Base sauce, base sauce. You know how it's going. Yeah. So, Hans, um, what has it been like not having carnival this year, man? You are the, 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 the honest side or you honest are the, side, the honest side? Well, psychologically, the impact that I got, you know, is one that is withdrawal symptoms from the whole festival and being an artist who contributes year in, year out, gives him It's something that I really miss. I miss the stage, I miss the, the vibe, the, the band rehearsals, the people on a whole. I miss the, the fans' reaction of releasing the music and giving you that, that, you know, these good reviews, whether good or bad, and giving you that extra push. But it's still there. Um, but it's somewhat, uh, I don't want to say a great experience still not to have masks because our, you know, health and safety is most important. And we had to really take that into consideration. But. For me as an artist, you know, it's a time to really reflect, relax because carnival we've been pumping right through. I never really got a time to settle down and, and relax myself. Now that I'm a father, mm -hmm. I, I got a lot more time to really spend with, um, spend a lot more time with my, my daughter and family and so forth. And it's easy time to really relax and reflect and rebuild and see how best I could, you know, put forward the music for next year and years to come because I'm always writing, I'm always in the studio pushing. So. It's a time where I just slow down a bit and really analyze my career because sometimes, you know, you're going at a, a, a steady pace, a fast pace, and you, you, you know, you lose sight of what you really want to achieve in years to come sometimes. So, you know, because you might say, okay, you know what, I want to win X amount of titles, which I want to mention could be to win a Grammy, you understand, or to be an international recording artist to, you know, top billboards and stuff like that. So it's a time for me where I'm going to sit down and really analyze the whole market and put things in place for, you know, thinking beyond just Vinci Mars, just, you know, beyond traveling to other countries to, to perform. Something that I really sit down and consider and say, you know what, let me invest here, let me get the paperwork right, the music of business side right, let me get my streaming platform up and running, and where I can see myself in the next five also years doing music i'm gonna retire or i'm gonna go on next 10 years again and stuff like that so you know it's a time for me this reflection and and to rebuild and to relax now the you recently concluded on um, vinci premier league right. if i recall correctly you are part of the theme song for that right randy small and uh, and i would have um, done that project along with the help of darren andrews who did the, um, the recording. It was a great one, we get, uh, you know, we got a lot of great reviews from that as well. And it's good to see that sports is still taking that initiative to still happen mm -hmm. and to give, you know, the, the patrons or nationals and international viewers, you know, the lovers of cricket, the opportunity to see a, game, a good game um, being played and to showcase um, Vinci Mars as well because 
CDC would have put on an entertainment package where we, you know, we did some marketing. And it was there myself, First Lady Shana McKenzie, Side Bowman, and we had some mass presentations as well to, you know, really give Vinci Mass that push to keep that, you know, the relevance of the festival to remind people that, hey, we're going through this time, but next year, God's Fair Life will be up and running again, don't forget. So it was a it was a great one, apart from the team song. <laughs> Not the opportunity. Right. Now listening to this instrumental in the back. This song was loaded, right? Rodent. Rodent. Now, what goes into your thought well, what is your thought process with that screen writing? Let me say a song like this in particular. Sometimes it's just the creative energy, divine intervention sometimes. Um, you see, you grab you grab a lot of um, ideas from people around you. This is basically about my neighbor and having um, a problem with rodents in the community right. and stuff like that. So we, we got from different experiences in life. The people around your environment, somebody might drop a top. And I love to live on the block right. <laughs> in Ibisham or anywhere about because you know these people would influence your chain of thoughts and influence the way you, 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 you put together things and write things and Luther would have mentioned that earlier when the guy walked up to us and told us about BASOS so it, it's just the time and place being in the right place sometimes right. and the experiences sometimes a song like Blessings you know it's divine intervention you speak about your life, your life story or right. something sometimes ideas might just come out of nowhere mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to you listen already man, you, you pen it and you'll be creative and so forth. Of course. Right. Now due to this entire quarantine scene and us not having carnival, we now have the emergence of a virtual soca Right. What is your take on this? Well, to be completely honest, the virtual world could never, you know, be compared to the real thing. The real or reality. Of of being on a stage rehearsing with a band and, and what's not. We might try our very best to really see how we could, you know, feed off the the energy from our fans, you know, with that face to face interaction. Because when you're on stage you, you see people reaction in the crowd, you understand, you feel the energy, they give you that extra and now we are limited to a, a fire emoji, some hearts, some um thumbs up, some some trophies yeah. and some other stuff that yep. some likes, some comments that we now have to say, you know what, is this a forward? If, is this real? Mm -hmm. Is this what they, they, they actually like, you know, based on the virtual world? Yes. Um, it's a good initiative now because of what we are going through. Yes. And that's where the world is right now in terms of technology. And if you look at the big business side of things, it's a lot of e-commerce. People not using raw cash anymore. People using their cards, they're using PayPal, they're using all the necessary um, means of, of, of doing business online. Right? I, I'm not against the, the, the advancement in technology in providing entertainment because it would have always been present in terms of the YouTube, the, the Spotify, the, um, the iTunes, right? the Shazams, and you name it. The Google Music, the Google Play, and what's not. It has always been there. The virtual world has always been there. My only concern about you know these virtual concerts is how you know the, the reward or monies will be remitted to the artists. One, if the artists or artists are registered with a PRO, which is a performing rights organization where they could collect their royalties and how far you know this would go right. that you could benefit because you might get a 99 cents US or a one dollar US and what's not that. The virtual so coming up locally being put on by um, NV and Man Steve Online, less than the whole crew and um, Achilles and what's not. It's a great initiative. Right? right? I'm not against that in any way and I really applaud the effort of our local promoters doing that so that the artists can get that platform or artists can get that platform to showcase their talent in these times. Right. I'm just concerned about the, the, the whole logistics, you know, and the 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 way of life that we're headed now. 
Mm. Or we're going to continue doing this next year again mm. when there's a real soccer monarch <laughs> happening. No, I mean, these are questions that we need to yes, really ask ourselves. Or or is it that we're doing it for this time only? Right. Are we going to see these virtual concerts um, being continued and stuff like that? And a lot of things to consider because we, we perform and when we go on live on Facebook, we do it for free. Yes. And other countries, they are reaping, um, they get, they're getting uh, remittances where they might be a dollar or what's not. What I'm seeing now, there's a trend now where they have the, the cash app that persons can make donations to you now. Right. And I'm t- I would want to believe that that is slowly making its way into our local culture because we come from a culture that doesn't like to pay for anything. I know I have to be frank, if you put your music up on a streaming site, any digital platform, and you say, you know what? You have to pay 99 cents for this. 99 cents. Right? Yeah. Whether it might be US, a dollar US, which it might be like 2 71 or 3 dollars or something for one track. Yeah. Right? And you would find persons would not go and say, you know what? Let me buy. Let me get down road, let me make a transaction here. My five pulses might go in to the man on the street. Not knocking anybody's um, hustle. Yes. And say, you know what? Give me this music here, but I want some music and you do so and you get a crack copy and you go on YouTube and you pull it off. And what's not that? The artist now is left in a position where they don't make anything from it. I think we need to look at that. And it's not only in St. Vincent, as Caribbean people, if you ask any Caribbean people, about music. No, a virgin said, Nagi me. I mm-hmm. um, pull it off of YouTube and yeah. what's not. You understand? You never really find, you know, you know, uh, persons supporting that side of the, the, the creative industry in terms of the purchase. So that's one of the, the, the concerns I have when it comes to the virtual stuff. And, you know, the virtual concerts and the virtual performances and what's not. I'm not against it in any way. I really applaud the effort of persons who are doing that and creating that environment for artists still to go and perform. You understand? But it's just that the, 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 the ins and outs of it is something that we really supposed to really, you know, give some thought about the business side and how you can really help your artists in these times that we're not making anything and some of us are solely dependent on music. That's their, their you know, music is their life, their career, their day job, everything. Some of us not, might not be so fortunate to have a day job, a 8 to 4, 9 to 5 and so forth. So this is the time where persons go and support their artists. And artists as well have to take legs straight to them because yeah. some of us you know, we don't, we know that this thing, the whole pandemic would have happened. We now start to realize the importance of copyright, realize the importance of being a part of a PR organization. You understand? A performing rights organization. We now start to consider royalties. We now start to say, you know what, I have to register my work now. Because this is the time that when the business of music is being tested. Yeah. Now, all the the show, Luther said, or he encouraged that younger artists should use this space now. Because, you know, every year there are the artists that come in, oh, Luther music, this, fireman, skinny, congesting the airwaves, airwaves, and they have no space. So Luther was saying that he thinks, now is it time for them to release music, a Lego thing, as he said. No, I strongly agree with that. Um, now is the perfect time for you. You know, for um, young talent to really shine and to really deliver, capitalize on this opportunity. You know, the more seasoned senior artists, they would be doing work. But we are thinking beyond just releasing a song. Because we know there's, you know, a lot to it and, and what we want to achieve. You understand? And now is the perfect time to really go in the studio and deliver. If, it, if, it, if, it, if it's the case that you don't want to release this year, Put in some work. Right. Put in some work. Now is the perfect time for you to put in some work and bring yourself up to you know that level in terms of work ethics. Because I could tell you this, the, the, the seasoned artists, the senior artists, we are dedicated to what we do. We, we work hard in studio session. Right. This is not a one-off song for us. So we say, okay, you know what? Let me just release something because we can release. No. We don't play with it like that. We, we actually consider a lot of things that we really need and we put a lot of thought, energy and finance into it. Right. 
this is the time for the artists, the younger artists to capitalize on building their craft and releasing music and to build their fan base as well too. You understand? Not that we don't want to do it. We could release music anytime because I can tell you this. We're coming from a culture where we have music on ice. On the shelf, Luther could tell you this. Yep, he just mentioned it. We have music <laughs> there backed up from three to two years, five years, all the way that we could go and this blow off one and say, you know what? Let me, mm-hmm. we put you out there and go to battle. Of course. You understand? We have music. Well, I have music, <laughs> right? True. And Luther being delivering music and Skinny have music, Fireman have music, Mazat have music, Problem Child have music. For years now they have catalog and that's one of the things that the, the, the younger artists are really focused on, building catalogs. You know, building catalogs because, as I mentioned earlier, this might not be the season where you want to release, but you could build a solid catalog. If you think that boy you're not ready to release because you might not get the traction and, and what's not, it's, it's a good time for you to build catalog for next year and see if you could catch that first wave coming in next year because I can tell you this if they, if they say press play tomorrow well Luther are talking about road march and all kind of things but I press and play promise you on your mark get set I even waiting for the go okay you understand? Okay. We have stuff like that already right. in the pipeline. So younger artists capitalize on the opportunity, use this time to build your craft, do as much um, studio sessions and producers, welcome them with open arms and, and now is the time to really teach them because the studio is not congested exactly. and you have a lot more time. Shared knowledge is something that we really need in the industry as well too. And I think now is the time that, you know, the season of senior artists could really settle down and, and pass on some knowledge that persons, young artists could listen as well too. Because we didn't get here overnight. You understand? Somebody ain't say, you know what? Push your forward and say, yo, you bad, take over. Mm-hmm. You no, know, we had to work our way up. Correct. We had to put in work and this is the time where you had to learn stagecraft and what's not. Now is the time that they had to do the research. Go back, listen back all the, the, the old vintage music, listen the different style of writing from your artists, regional artists, international artists, whatever the case might be. Do some research and see how best you can really advance yourself and better yourself in this industry. Read up on the business of music, read up on copyright, you know, get registered. Try to do something, you know, that would benefit you in the long run. Yes, I know the studio work, you're you antsy to release music, you're antsy to get that, that, that reaction from the fans and the views on, on, on YouTube and the likes on Facebook and so forth. But this takes some time to seriously analyze what you want to achieve you know because some of us get caught up the younger ones i used to be in that position but where now you think that you know what the hype music is all of it or the likes on instagram or the, the, the facebook but as you get older and you 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 align yourself with certain people and you you, you start to climb a bit in terms of your levels and understanding of the industry you, you know it becomes a different perspective, uh, um, perspective on life, the, the way how you see things, the way how you make decisions, the way how you want to um, portray yourself, and all these things are stuff that you have to consider, whether your image, because apart from releasing a song, you know, okay. you had to study why people would want to gravitate to you, of course. apart from your music, of course. and some fans, they might not like you, Correct. but they might like, boy, you're wearing a nice jacket or something. However, you have a, a style about fans, you know, they like you for some weird reason. Somebody might dislike you because, oh, you're lacing, you have a, a lacing that is different from somebody's, you know, shoes. And right. you have a shoes that light up or they like you because the way how your hair look mm-hmm. or your beard right. and them kind of stuff. Or they might dislike you because... It is a Lego thing. <laughs> no, no fun intended. Yeah, that's that. We're just having fun here. But right. yeah, they find the, the way, the set of reasons to really like you. So as a young artist, these are things that you had to consider as well too. And the work ethics, very important. Work ethics, very, very, very important. Train yourself now to really go to the studio. Focus on your writing, you know, storylines, your vocal ability, and marketing. Your image, very important. 
You can't be an artist and say, boy, you're going on stage in a slippers and a boxer. Unless it's H2 or one of them shows that <laughs> call for that setting. Or if they call it to do a dinner. You understand? You go there in a short pants and a vest. And you snap back. So these are things that you can use this time now to learn. Right. And, and do some music as well too. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't rushing you down to, you know, say, that, okay, yeah, boy, we're fighting for space. And I don't think that is the case where, you know, the seasoned artists would bar or stop other younger artists from coming in. It's just that we would have built our name and our music. But it didn't happen overnight. Obviously, there are some artists that you can't count out in terms of fan base. Of they, they would have been there before you. Luther have a bigger fan base than I. Right? Fireman have a bigger fan base than I. Skinny, problem child. Because they were there before me. So if I was there before you in this industry, and I know the ins and outs of it, it's like a new business. Yes. You would always have your loyal customers coming in to buy your fried chicken or your chips. Right? In comparison to somebody who bust last week or who want to come last week and say, you know what? I'm doing um, sausage and eggs for breakfast with pancake with a total new menu. So it, it doesn't matter if you're creating for all oh, the breakfast and chicken and chips is selling right through from morning to afternoon to even night. Nobody cares maybe because you would have been there before established. Correct. So, it's very in it. <laughs> correct, that's correct. You know, so just do your homework and, 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 and push out. Don't really blame nobody else for whatever is happening. You just had to put in the hard work and, and deliver because there comes a time then when you will be there in the same position and what's not. And I could tell you this we're so fortunate here in St. Vincent that our artists are giving us space. Artists are giving us space for, for, for the younger ones to come through. Right. Every year we have some new person. Emerging, we have emerging talents coming out of course every year, every year, and in terms of music, you understand? Perfect example, magical. I was about to say the same thing, magical. Casper G was around as well, too. But these guys step up to the plate within two years or so, you would have seen what they would have done in terms of um, delivering great music for Vinci Mass Definitely. and what's not. They, they created their own style, they created that trend. Yes, when you look at that, that's it. Wajang, whatever. I don't know what Wajang mean, but he created his own trend. These guys are being different from what we are offering. You understand? Then you have Sickle mm-hmm. from Mespo. He have his own style. Correct. He have his own style that is unique to him. Correct. So you have to find something in the market right now that is unique to you that you could hold on to and to push. And these guys are doing their work. They're doing their homework. You understand? So that is just my two cents on it when it comes to that. All right. Well, Hans, why you just said some stuff there with regards to having music from probably all back in Convent Mespo days. So I even went out so we could look forward to next year because, as I said, can you force me about? Uh, yeah, 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 because you know, um, <laughs> it's, it's an it's a, it's a uphill battle you know, because everybody coming for you next year. Mm-hmm. You understand? I'm so fortunate to defend my, my title twice this year and next year, so it, it comes like it's four times. Raga so come on out, God spare life, you know. Not to beat my chest in any way, but next year will be one to look forward to, you know, God spare life. And I'm looking forward to a great season for Vinci Mass, for every artist as well. And we will get you this rough patch that we're going through is a learning experience for us as well as a great one because we know how to position ourselves and we know. You know how to put things in place in the event of another pandemic or whatever the case may be because we would have seen ebola we would have seen sars we would have seen all these you know anthrax you name it all these pandemic that came about in years gone by and we were not affected in this manner where we, we, we couldn't really travel we couldn't really um go and spend time with our family like you know because of the whole social distancing and stuff like that it really make you you know say boy wow what if this to happen again problems you know so it, it, it's 
it's a it's a assessment, you know, it's a risk assessment going forward now with all a lot of things. Yes. And for singers we might consider that boy, you know what boy? The only thing might probably happen to me around the season is you know, I might lose my voice and you know really can't get to perform on one or two shows. But at the point, you know, where artists have bookings and they can't get to travel, promoter had to cancel the event and even you know if we free up the, the, the psychological impact on people to go out and to party it you know the urge is there to go out and party but some people would seriously consider the safety to say yes. boy if this thing really gone so we still in limbo as to way but if we're going out there and if we're going to go on the stage still yes. if promoters will be willing to pay us the normal fee that we we, we we see ourselves getting our value, our product. There's a lot of things going through my mind now where is that now everybody coming in now. We might have to come in at a discount price or we're gonna be able to get the same price and because everybody you know we, we took a serious hit. Yes, the economy, true. employment, people wondering now that boy, okay, we wanna go outside. Or is there any disposable income that we could go outside? Any extra income now that I might wanna go out and and, 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 and spend and I don't know if this thing really passed. Should I invest my money in some life insurance policy? Should I put in any savings? Should I buy some grocery? So as much as we want to go out and fit, you know, the urge is there you know, for us to be out, outside. But I just still questioning if people would really want to spend and what's that until things get back to normal. And I'm praying that things get back to normal because as I mentioned earlier, some of the artists are heavily dependent on music as their every day as the livelihood you know and they take care of their families with that they send the kids through school to music they build the house through music you understand they take care of their, their mom medical bills whatever you understand i personally felt the, the, the hit financially because i don't like depending on one income Correct. and now that i'm a father and stuff like that you have responsibilities and you would want to deliver your best for your family yes so there's a lot of things that i consider but apart from that we're good Give felt and you know, you know, give thanks and praise to the Almighty for sparing my life still to come here and the power jam and to hold our vibes with you and keep the fans up to date. Enough love and respect. Thanks for the love and support. Year in, year out. I've been getting a lot of love still because we have a project coming with Randy Small, myself, uh-huh. Darren Andrews. Wow. It's called Holy Faith. Um, we have a music video dropping for it. It's something that is different. It's not the 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 the, the jump and wave soaker. It's not the, the raga soaker that you're expecting. It's something that is more mainstream, crossover kind of vibe that you could expect. Okay. You know, and it's something to really uplift, you know, the nation and, and the whole region and the whole too. So we we there. Um we walk in, we, we walk in still. We we out there, we we out there but we inside, you know, yeah, it is already. We out, but we inside. Yeah. That's, that's how it is, man. But Hans, yet again, thank you for coming and joining us here on the powerhouse. As usual, it's a pleasure. Enough love and respect, Hans John representing every time for Soka Music St. Vincent. I'm out. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it from the two time and reigning Raga Soka Monarch King, Hans. Stay tuned to the powerhouse. Don't move a muscle. Thomas Wholesale and Liquor Plus offers the finest selection of local and imported products at competitive prices, along with excellent customer service. They carry an updated stock of the latest wholesale products on the market and reacquaint you with old favorites. A large selection of wines, brandies, spirits, beer, plus more. Shelves of quality brands of canned products, cases of soft drinks to large detergents, plus more. Choose from a large variety of local seasoning, sacks of onion, flour, garlic, plus more. All at low prices. For the best and quality brands, general merchandises and liquor. Go to Farmers Wholesale and the Liquor Plus at Arnold's Vale or call 456-6840 for everything you want plus more. Get away from all the traffic and noise of the city. Take a scenic drive to Gray's Marketplace in Pembroke where a pleasant, relaxed and stress-free shopping experience awaits you. Shop in clean, spacious surroundings where parking is no problem. Come on down. Our friendly staff is waiting to serve and you. And you will always say by shopping right here. Oh yes, we're number one. CK Gray's and Company and we are Vincent Shines. A supermarket for you and me. 
at CashWiz. We buy, sell, trade, and co-sign almost anything of value. TVs, cereals, speakers, car audio, and other electronics, even jewelry. Gold, silver, diamonds, comes pearl. At CashWiz, ask about our buyback option on household appliances, electronics, vehicles, jewelry, sporting equipment, tools, etc. And now, if you have any large bulky items, CashWiz will visit the location and make our best offer. offer. Just send us your detailed information via Facebook, WhatsApp, or email, providing pictures and model numbers. So come on down to CashWiz, where we buy, sell, trade, and co-sign almost anything of value. At CashWiz St. Vincent, we buy, sell, and trade most anything of value. We're talking cash for goods the same day. We've got the highest payouts for jewelry, gold, silver, and diamond. At CashWiz, bring your used items, get cash instantly. Must be in good working condition. Get cash the same day for your goods. Come on down to CashWiz, located on the corner of Shop Street and Long Lane, Kingsdale. Call us today at 451-7777 or log on to www.cashwiz.com. At CashWiz, we buy, sell, and trade. Most anything of value. One, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time that I don't like. It's the time where I have to say goodbye for this episode of the Powerhouse, and of course, the season four quarantine and chill edition. Right now, it has been a pleasure being back here, ladies and gentlemen. I have to beg you guys. I implore that you stay indoors, practice social distances, as you have seen. We even, we even adjusted the set to suit, right? So do the same, continue washing your hands, practice social distances. I can't say that enough, right? Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is King Jace, and of course, VC Tiger. In the building. And we're out <laughs> until next episode, man. Thank you for watching. <laughs>